Hey guys, Garrett here. Welcome back to On Point. If this is your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you get future notifications as we upload. So I am again joined by Corey. This is uh, just another bow review that he brought down the this year's Expedite. And for those that don't know the PSC lines very well, this is the Speedbow. Speedbow. Flagship Speedbow. So we just did a, re uh, a review on the mid-range um, uh, drive NXT. Yep. And now we're doing the Expedite NXT. And uh, go ahead and walk me through the changes from last year's uh, bow. Yeah, uh, the changes from last year are going to be kind of subtle. Riser, you know, we took out the cage in the riser, kind of thinned up the riser, um, added a grip to the bow, and not sure if we really changed much on the limb angle, uh, but the biggest thing for me was the distance on getting an arrow rest into it. Still running a five and a half inch brace height, uh, but we've got more clearance here to actually uh, be able to get a few more arrow rests on here. Last year, you were really limited on what kind of arrow rest you could get. Interesting, okay. Because uh, the cables would be hitting it. And uh, so now we've got a little bit more room in there. Uh, take the grip off, you'll get about five and three quarters of, of brace height. And that's what I did uh, hunting with this bow this year. Um, runs the EC cam. We have two mods for this. So when we ship them, it will ship with the high let offs, which puts the bow in that 350 range. Otherwise, we can order it or you can swap out the mods for our speed mod. And that speed mod will be a 65, 70, 75% let off, and that will push us into that 360 mark. Hmm. Uh, otherwise, it'll come with a high let off, which gives us 80, 85, 90. Um, right now, we've got this one set up at the 90%. Uh, 23 and a, or 24 and a half inches in draw length to 30 inches, uh, 33 inch axle to axle, just uh, the nice thing I like about a speed bow is I can work easier. Hmm. I just would rather pull less poundage and still be able to shoot a good good weight arrow uh, at a good speed. So I noticed that with my Evoke 31 when I was playing with the lead offs right here, um, I really didn't know, notice much of a speed difference when I was nope. playing with the lead offs. I no, thought I would see more. Yeah, no, and the reason being is because this actually, if we go to 80, we're actually shortening up the draw length. Um, so you're moving it maybe a, you know, an eighth of an inch. So where you would be gaining, so you're actually losing, losing on the other end. Exactly. Okay. So they kind of cross each other out. So it's, yeah, makes we've been seeing usually about a one foot to two foot difference between, yeah. um, 80 and 90 or 65 and 75. Right. And this has got that super, super easy adjustable mod on there. Yep. It's two screws. Two screws, rotate it. Um, you know, A is your longest draw length mm -hmm. and you got your sight window to tell you. And then the let off is super easy too. You just have the one Allen and there's three notches to yep. set that. And you yep. just set that top and bottom and you're done. Perfect. And so for guys that want to know, um, a lot of times with, with a speedboat, you're giving up a few shootability things. So it does have a shorter brace height, you know, and as Corey said, you can gain a little bit back by taking off the grip. I know a lot of guys love to take off the grip off of every bow they shoot and they put their own little uh, wrap on there. Uh, but you know, it, you're, you're going to have more speed and with that, you're trying to fit six gallons in a five gallon bucket. So you're going to have something spill out somewhere. So with this bow, um, I, I know I've shot previous models. They're still super, super draw friendly. They're actually yeah. not that bad. Yeah. And we're not shooting it with the speed mod yet. No. Um, and we're shooting it at what draw length? Um, 29. 29 at 70 pounds. 70 pounds. And so, um, you know, like back when we had the spider turbo, you're going back to a Hoyt's old bow. That was a speed bow. And that thing, I could not shoot that thing. It was just ripping you off the back wall. Um, I, I have not got that feeling since they've come out with the Evolve cam a few years ago. Um, it's been, to me, the speed bow kind of has been evolved into a more shootable bow. Yeah. Um, There's a couple of factors though, that too, that go into making a bow shootable. One, definitely that cam. You know, if that cam's constantly ripping you off the back wall, it's gonna be difficult for you to shoot it. The other part is riser design. You know, we get hung up on this number, but we also wanna look at the shape of this bow it's not reflexed back super, super hard. So, but what we've done is this limb angle and distance, we've, we're bringing the string to the grip instead of the grip to the string, which that gives you the bow to point. So when you got a really hard reflex in that riser, the bow really likes to wiggle and then the sight picture goes away and that's what makes start making things difficult to shoot on top of a very aggressive cam on the back. Right. Those things combined make a bow not so fun to shoot where this bow points on target really, really well, and we've got 
you know, enough valley into that back end on that cam to, to make it shootable. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. And so. like I say, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times the people are buying speed bows. They're like, <laughs> well, now I can shoot a heavier arrow faster and I can shoot more poundage and I can just keep going faster, faster, faster. Right. Like I say, I personally like it because I can go the opposite way and start working easier. I'd rather shoot 60 pounds at 280 versus right. 70 pounds at 280. And, and I'm still being able to throw a heavy, heavy arrow out of it. So. Well, that's, that's, a good, that's a good point. A lot of guys are just thinking speed, but really you're gaining less effort for your money. Yep. And so more poundage per, per feet per second basically yeah. is what you're looking at. So well, let's go ahead and shove some arrows through here. Okay. Um, I have, have the same arrows we've been using, guys. I have a 430, uh, 480, and a 575 grain arrow that we're going to shoot through the chronograph here and just see what kind of speeds we get. Mm -hmm. And then um, if we have a little bit of extra time, we'll toss on the speed mods and we'll see how that shoots. Yeah, and this will be a good test to, for you too to, to see about how the bow does feel because it's an inch long for you. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> so the longer, when we get bows that are too long for us, they don't feel as nice. So if you're able to shoot this being an inch long, you yeah, know, it's, it's you'll realize with, it's not that bad of a bow. Not with uh, with PSEs versus like a Matthews uh, jaw lengths, I have to shoot a sh half inch short on their draws, and with PSEs, I can shoot longer, longer. draws. Yeah, yeah, it's the way each company kind of measures their draw. They're they're usually within a half inch plus or minus. Um, you know, yeah, it's a typical. Well, I know last year you guys were uh, under promising and over delivering on yeah. your speeds, so yeah. <laughs> we'll see what what this year brings. Our, yeah, this year. <laughs> People might not be as excited because they're not overinflated, but they might be more true. Right. So or well, under under or underinflated. So they might say, "Well, it's you know, it's not shooting faster than it said like it did last year, but it, the tag's going to be faster probably." Perfect. So perfect. Well, let's go ahead and uh, fling some yeah. arrows. Sweet. That was good. All right. All right, guys, and as I say in every video, my draw sucks. Uh, I know it sucks. You guys know it sucks. You guys let me know every video. So <laughs> don't copy this. Elbow should be up, not down, but and my shoulders are shot. So this is kind of what I have to do. This is what I have to do in order to draw. So even though it is 29, I don't feel strung out. You know, I'm not bringing, I'm not having to do this or anything like that. I still have a little bit of a bend in my elbow. It's aiming really nice. A little bit of a vibration um, on the shot, which if you fully rigged it up, it would probably almost disappear. And that was a fairly light arrow at 430. Uh, a lot of guys shoot lighter than that, but that's a pretty average weight arrow there. Let's see, here goes the 480 grain arrow. I'm trying to see how the valley is there. It really dumps you nice into the valley. Very, very, very solid back wall, which I like personally. Just the way I shoot. Two eighty one at four hundred and eighty grains. I don't know if you're gonna get that one through. Oh yeah, and this is a four four fletch. So uh, with the hostage rest style that we have here, we're gonna have to probably just not shoot that arrow. But um, so basically what I'll, off those two arrows, guys, what I'm gonna say is actually a really shootable bow, a little bit of a vibration on the shot, which you know, isn't really going to help you with accuracy or anything. That's just a, you know, a nice feature. But uh, outside of that, it did, wasn't pulling me off the back wall. It wasn't aggressive really at any point of, of the draw cycle. And it really did dump you nicely into the valley. So uh, it aimed really well. And the grip, I like the grip. I mean, last year, I think they changed the grip. Uh, you guys went to that kind of a, just a little bit fatter, nicer grip. I believe mm -hmm. it was last year. And um, I'm glad to see that you guys kept doing that. So um, outside of that, guys, uh, let's we'll go ahead and throw the speed mods yeah, we'll on here. Throw the speed mods and on. then we'll get you guys some speed, uh, some speeds. We'll probably have Corey draw that, uh, <laughs> draw it on the next er two arrows. But um, yeah, give us a sec. We'll put some speed mods on here. All right, guys, and we're back. So Corey put on the speed mods. We're at 70 pounds, 29 inch draw, 75 uh, percent let off, and so we're going to notice uh, the last five to 10 percent of the draw little stacks it's going to stack a little bit drop you into the valley and then probably more aggressive on the back wall um, but you're going to pick up some speed so right there's that that extra stacking and it will it definitely want to take you off the back wall so you can't get lazy on this bow you definitely can't sleep on it with the speed mod on there 
But if you shoot with a with a good back tension, you're not even probably going to have a problem with it. And we're at 305, so we picked up eight feet per second. Yep. So you want to go ahead and give it a try? Yeah. That's usually what we'll see right around that eight to 10 feet. Uh, you know, kind of depends on that arrow and draw length on there. Uh, but yeah, you're you're right. It's uh, it it definitely more aggressive on that back end. You know, speed's never free, so that's usually <laughs> right. where you're going to give it up. Um, for me personally, that's why. I just want a little bit more suitable system. Um, and there again, if I was to shoot this speed mod, I would shoot this bow at say 60 pounds, or I might shoot it with the high let offs at 65 pounds type of thing. So hmm. going to this, and this, this cam, honestly at, with that mod in there at 60 pounds, it's really not that bad. Yeah. but. So this is that 480 grain arrow. Two eighty nine. That's pretty fast. Yeah. That's uh, and you picked up uh, eight feet eight feet eight per feet second, second. Yeah. on that arrow too, yeah. so it's pretty consistent. So I think if we get out there to that thirty, it's going to get to that nine to ten. Um, but yeah, so if you're just wanting to pick up more speed, if you're a speed freak, yeah, you can have to just work a little harder at it. So yeah, yeah, and like like Corey said, speed's not free, guys. So um, another another good option for you guys that are definitely those speed freaks out there um, who can shoot with a good back, good amount of back tension and just be able to handle a bow like this. Um, definitely not for a beginner. So, uh, but like I say, you know, if you look at it the opposite way and say I can pull less poundage. That's true. That's true. Because you, know, you know, ten pounds, ten pounds is only twelve to thirteen feet. Um, so I can pull 10 less pounds and only shoot three feet slower than I did at 70 with this mod on there. And that's a good point. And so for you guys that are wanting to shoot a really good fast bow, but not have to, you know, maybe do it with less energy. Yep. Um, you're gaining more feet per second per your, per your energy spent. Um, and that's a really good, really good point there. So outside of that guys, another review done and uh, thanks for coming back yeah, and, sure. and, and hooking me up. Or when are you gonna be back down with the, with the new bows? Uh, January, we're launching uh, some new flagship bows in January. And uh, we have actually another new bow coming out here in a couple weeks too. Oh, right on, right on. Well, stay tuned guys. Hopefully Corey will make it back down here. We can do some more videos. And uh, as always, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.